Ben Affleck has departed the director's chair. Peter Capaldi has left the TARDIS. And Supergirl welcomes yet another familiar face. Welcome to this week's episode of the Weekly Geek Roundup. I'm Livia. And I'm Rory. And this week we're going to start off with some bad news for Batfleck fans. It's been announced this week that Ben Affleck is stepping down as the director of the upcoming Batman solo film. This news was met with disappointment from fans worldwide, even though rumours have been circulating with Ben's unhappiness in the pre-production stages. Ben has attempted to reassure fans that he is still their caped crusader and is committed to making the best film possible. For more information on this and to read Ben's full statement, head on over to geekarland.com. The Final Fantasy 30th anniversary event has come and gone, but not without letting us know Square Enix's plans to revisit highlights from the history of the king of JRPGs. Of course the subject of the Final Fantasy VII remake was broached, and fans were teased with a morsel of content in the form of a single frame of concept art. Also revealed at the event was a remaster of Final Fantasy XII, which brings the PlayStation 2 Classic to the PS4, with upgraded visuals and gameplay. Final Fantasy The Zodiac Age will release later this year. Supergirl's casting department are continuing their trend by casting franchise alumni in their show. We've already had Wonder Woman's Linda Carter as the President of the United States, 1984 Supergirl Helen Slater as Kara's adoptive mother, and former Superman himself Dean Cain as Kara's adoptive father. The newest addition to this alumni lineup is none other than Dean Cain's former co star, Terry Hatcher. Now, no news is in as of yet as to who Hatcher will be playing, but numerous outlets are reporting that she will be playing a new villain. Regardless of who Hatcher will be playing in the show, all the fans are going to want to see is our Lois and Clark back on the screen together again. Peter Capaldi has confirmed that after this year's Christmas special, he'll be hanging up his sonic screwdriver. Speaking with BBC Radio 2, he said, I feel sad. I love Doctor Who. It's a fantastic programme to work on. The 12th Doctor endeared fans with this performance, but rumours are swirling that the studio are looking for a younger lead in an attempt to appeal to a wider audience. Casting rumours are all up in the air at the moment, with some speculating that we may see a female Doctor take command of the TARDIS for the first time in the show's 54-year history. Let us know in the comments below who you'd like to see take up the mantle of television's favourite time lord. Thanks for watching this week's episode. For more information on all of our top stories, head on over to garland.com and don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. But, but for, for now, now bye! bye.